A stark and eye-opening contrast. Here's a side-by-side -side look at Riverdale Park in East Toronto on a good day versus right now where you can barely see the CN Tower or the skyline at all. Good evening. Normally on a warm summer's eve, Riverdale Park would be packed with people picnicking and watching the sunset over Toronto's skyline. Well, there are barely any people out here at all tonight. Wildfire smoke has returned, blanketing the city in what's becoming a concerning trend. It is very concerning um, and it is noticeable as well. A smoke-veiled cityscape. Skyscrapers struggle to pierce through the thick haze. The sun cloaked in an orange mist. A stark reminder of devastating wildfires raging nearby and deteriorating air quality. You can tell that the air is worse. You can smell the fire. You can see the sun having a totally different color than it usually would. Toronto's air quality the worst in the world this afternoon, climbing to number one with Chicago and Detroit close behind. Cities also impacted by the same wildfires. At times, the air quality index reached level 10 plus in Toronto, which is considered very high risk. It's a little rough, uh, hard to breathe a bit. I noticed you're still working out though. Yeah, yeah, I got it, you know. <laughs> Gotta get, get, the, get the lungs a little stronger. Of course, you can notice the haze. It's hazy right now, and it's not something that you want to live with. This is something we've never seen before, really, and obviously it's happened a lot recently. The city moving outdoor recreation programs inside. Outdoor activities also suspended at city-run child care centers. The TDSB had allowed principals to determine if recess would be indoors or outdoors, and it appeared many opted to keep kids inside. We can see a smoke patch everywhere from northern Quebec following a line straight down through southern Ontario. Environment Canada warning it's hard to predict how long the fire will burn, but likely air quality will remain a concern through the summer. So as long as the fires are burning and the smoke is in the atmosphere, it's going to be a concern. <laughs> In response to the wildfires, climate activists rallied outside MPs' offices today demanding the federal government stop supporting the fossil fuel industry and transition to 100% renewable energy. We've been talking about climate change as something that's going to happen in the future. It's happening now. Experts are warning the public to limit outdoor activities and to stop strenuous physical activities if you're experiencing symptoms. When you're trying to breathe, you can feel that you're... you're uh, airways feel a little bit dry. I think that's one of the symptoms of inhaling a lot of this uh, smoke. Experts also recommending N95 masks if you do have to spend time outside and are experiencing symptoms. While indoors, it's recommended to keep windows and doors closed.